A local cheerleading gym is facing a federal lawsuit from a teenager who says he was sexually abused by coaches there. WRL's Keenan Willard is live for us at the gym's Raleigh location with these allegations they're facing, Keenan. Well, Dan, the lawsuit says that while a teenager was competing here at Cheer Extreme Raleigh, he was sexually abused and pressured to use drugs by coaches. But this is a federal lawsuit filed by a John Doe, a teenager who says he started cheering at this gym when he was just 15 years old. The suit claims when he was 15 or 16, an older male coach at Cheer Extreme Raleigh started a sexual relationship with him and pressured him to use cocaine. The suit says multiple people at the gym knew about this relationship, including gym owners Kelly and Randall Helton, as well as coaches Chase Burris and Sean Wilson. The lawsuit also says at a competition out of state, a different coach with Cheer Extreme Kernersville forced the team to perform oral sex. The gym, coaches, and USA Cheer are now being sued for allegedly failing to protect the team from abuse. This is the latest in a series of lawsuits against all-star cheerleading gyms in states like South Carolina and Tennessee. Attorneys say they're pushing for justice for John Doe and accountability in the USA Cheer system. We want to eradicate the culture of sexual abuse that has been pervasive in this industry for decades. We reached out to Cheer Extreme's owners for a response. They say they've been made aware of a federal lawsuit filed by a John Doe, but they have not received a copy just yet. They're now consulting with their attorneys before offering any comment. Dan, those accusations are horrendous. Keenan Willard, live force in Raleigh. Thanks, Keenan.